controversies a year do we have over this symbol in this country? The new national Iraqi flag. A crowd in the besieged city of Fallujah set fire to a replica of the new banner today. In the northern city of Mosul, more than 1,000 protesters turned out to denounce the flag. The complaint, the colors. Blue, light blue, yellow, and white. The blue stripes on the bottom were meant to represent the country's two great rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. The yellow, the color symbolizing Iraq's Kurdish minority. It is that light blue in the crescent that's the problem. Iraqis see it and see the light blue of the Israeli flag. There's also the question of what is not there. Nearly every Arabic nation has some combination of red, black, and green in their flags, but not on the new Iraqi one. For some insight into why this new flag is already such a flammable symbol, we're joined, joined now by Rahida Darham, a senior diplomatic correspondent for the London-based Arabic newspaper Al Hayat. Rahida, good evening. Good evening to you. Well, I assume that the, the light blue is, is like President Bush talking three years ago about a crusade in Afghanistan, uh, inadvertent, uninformed, but I, I gather that it's, it's not being read quite that innocently in the Middle East. Not from that point of view. It resembles uh, uh, the dictate of an occupation that wants uh, an acceptance of Israel and an imitation of Israel in Iraq, and that's how it's perceived. Now, there is a sober argument as why not to rush uh, with a uh, flag, which is that the uh, interim government is supposed to take over from uh, the occupation on June 30th, and it is really, it's only understandable that people should want to wait till such an interim government takes office, and at that point, yes, talk about a flag. But I, I want to add that they're talking now about making the crescent blue. Will that improve this situation, or is there some hidden uh, problem that no one has researched in this country or in the... Uh, in the interim body in Iraq that, that will then come up and, and, and bite us all once again. <laughs> well, listen, uh, on a serious note here, I think, I think it's beyond the flag itself. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they fear, many of the Iraqis fear that uh, there is an occupation to stay and that a flag under occupation is a statement. And uh, I think there is a rejection of what the United States is trying to tell the Iraqis, no matter what these days, uh, there is a lot of anger. And as you know from what's happening in Fallujah, things are not going that well. And from the symbolism back to the reality and in Fallujah and particularly, the, the military analysts the last few days have been big on the idea, have been hitting again and again the idea that in Fallujah in particular, if major firepower were not used by the coalition forces in those set of circumstances that obtain there, that Iraqis themselves would have lost respect for the United States. I'm wondering, wondering what your take is on this. Is this another cross-cultural bad assumption train wreck like the flag or is there some truth in that idea or it could be another spin look there is a need to step back from all this and see what would work for the united states and for iraq i don't think the military solution in fallujah or in najaf and karbala the holiest places for the shiites is going to really bring us closer to a peaceful solution or to an end of occupation i fear that uh, more uh, it will uh, more of the military confrontation will take us into really bad situation for the United States and for the Iraqis. Look, the end of occupation can be done peacefully if it's done soberly and if people think about it. What's uh, really frightening everyone right now is that maybe there is an intention to escalate and therefore lose the option of making a peaceful Iraq and lose the option of ending occupation and hope and the fear here is, of course, to get into the quagmire of Iraq. Rahida Derham, the senior diplomatic correspondent for Al Hayat. Many thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you.